So what you're saying is that I intrigued you. I created curiosity within you because I looked one way. Yeah. But then when I would speak, there would be something else. So that's something for you ladies to take note of. There was content. The other message mm -hmm. is be well read. Mm -hmm. But it depends on who you're trying to attract. If you're mm -hmm. trying to attract a, a cowboy, right, then <laughs> read up on stuff that is interesting to cowboys. Figure out what your desires are mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. And then kind of man you and then work. Yeah, and then work mm -hmm. back from there. A man that has achieved a lot of things in life, he's a different kind of man than just like your average guy. Usually they're going to be more picky, probably more high maintenance, uh, more particular. They're wanting you to look a certain way because they definitely want to experience the best things in life. So it's a different kind of person that you're wanting to attract. I would like Earl to speak with you to give you some insights from a male's perspective on things that you can do in order to really attract your dream guy. So I can't answer that question for all men because every individual is different. What I can tell you is that for me, there's the physical and then there's the intellectual side. So let's deal with the physical first. I was attracted to Chelsea because she was physically attractive. And what I mean by that is when I first saw her, I guess I um, saw her whole aura, energy, energy, physical, yeah. uh, the physical being, and then zeroed in very quickly on her face. Mm -hmm. but, but I think we just want to share with them that on our first date, like I, I wanted to exude the energy of like, kind of like a prude librarian, you know? So it was more um, very reserved. I wanted to look very sort of like such a nice girl, right? Because I wanted to attract someone that wanted to be with me like for the long term. And so it's important to exude that energy. Well, <laughs> again, it depends on what the woman what is, you want. is looking for. So, yeah. but you weren't asking me from what you're looking for. You're asking me yeah, what Yeah, I know. I just wanted to give them some insight about that. So from my perspective, <laughs> there again, there's yeah. the physical and then there's the intellectual attraction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Staying with the physical for a moment. Okay. Um, uh, as I mentioned, I quickly zeroed in on her face. Physical attraction for me is the whole package. Right. You know, is her hair nicely, was her hair nicely combed? I was attracted to the whole package and then zeroed in on Chelsea's face specifically eyes and mouth. Um, her hair was brushed, her face was glowy, her um, skin was smooth, her um, teeth were white. Um, those were things that um, I, I clearly noticed right away. What I was attracted to was that she looked classy. What I was not uh, going to respond all that well to um, was if she walked in and looked, you know, the opposite of that, you know, with really tight Trashy. outfits, short skirt, yeah, uh, like lots sweaty. of cleavage. Makeup. I'll let you use those words. Yeah, lots of makeup. Right. Makeup. Because um, if I was strictly interested in someone for a night or a weekend or a short term relationship, um, then that would have been fine. Mm -hmm. But I was hoping for more than that mm -hmm. and quickly realized during our first time together, which was a lunch, um, after discussing my interests, mm -hmm. she discussed hers, mm -hmm. some of the books we had read, mm -hmm. 
that kind of thing, I quickly realized that there was more to her than I had imagined and was really curious to find out how come the words coming from this cute little face didn't really match up with, you know, my image of what she initially uh, looked like. Mm -hmm. In other words, a young female, I would not have expected to have this kind of insights and knowledge about business and, and uh, that and some of her other interests that she expressed. So, yeah. so I was intrigued by, in summary, I was intrigued by her physical appearance, but very in, interested in knowing more about the intellectual side. So for me, it was those two factors that played into my attraction to Chelsea. Okay, so what you're saying is that I intrigued you I created curiosity within you because I looked one way. Yeah. But then when I would speak, there would be something else. So that's something for you ladies to take note of. There was content. Yeah. It wasn't just words. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It, it was you telling me about some of the books you had read. Yeah, books. Which mm -hmm. I found to be surprising because most people I know have not read those books, let alone, again, this cute little face <laughs> saying these things. Yeah, yeah. and when, when we met, I was 25. So, um, yeah, just to throw that out there. If any of you are about that age, which I suspect you are, then that's something just to take note of, is that actually having something of value to, to say, it will, it will really create curiosity within a, a successful it's, man who's like been around the world, you know, talked to a lot of people, seen a lot of things and it's a way to really create like a meaningful bond especially in your first interaction and leave a good impression as long as it's sincere yeah if it's, as long yes. as it's coming from Authentic. a place of yeah of truth authenticity yeah because <laughs> um because yeah. i would have been able to see through that if it yeah. was superficial being of substance is something that you can't really hide exactly yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And someone who has lots of experience in business, they can smell when someone's not being real or authentic, when they're trying to put on this persona. It's easy to tell. So, yeah. Okay, so. So be yourself, yeah. Right, be yourself. And I guess the other message mm -hmm. is be well read. Mm -hmm. But it depends on who you're trying to attract. If you're mm -hmm. trying to attract a, a cowboy, <laughs> right then read up on stuff that is interesting to cowboys i don't know right exactly um, you know wear some cowboy boots i guess like to figure out what your desires are mm -hmm. first mm -hmm. and then kind of man you and want. then work yeah and then work mm -hmm. back from there you know mm -hmm. if i was having a discussion with somebody like me mm -hmm. um you know you don't know me but maybe prior to the meeting you could find out a little bit about what i do mm -hmm. so um maybe that would encourage you to read a couple articles on uh, mm -hmm. what's going on today about finance or about investments or mm -hmm. whatever you think I may be interested in because people like me want to associate with people like me. Yeah. Right? I um, mean, that doesn't mean that you didn't teach me all sorts of things of your interests, which I found, mm -hmm. you know, very attractive in like you what? over the last four years but um like what initially i'm more interested in having conversation with someone who is interested who can have a dialogue about you know current events or mm. economics or investing military history well that's being a bit Mythology. specific it's being a bit <laughs> too specific and you didn't Good. know that nor did i get into that when we no. first met so no <laughs> not give all my secrets away just yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that would be perhaps a clue to consider. Mm -hmm. um, not trying to suggest you be phony um, mm -hmm. and read about stuff you have no interest in, but recognizing yeah. what you're doing here. What mm -hmm. you're tr doing is you're throwing, you're going fishing. Mm -hmm. And you got to throw the right bait in to catch the right fish. Mm -hmm. So maybe consider it from that perspective. Yeah. yeah. It's not a matter of manipulation. It's a matter of playing okay. the cards you're dealt with. Right. Yeah. So that's 
how they can act after they've sort of captured his attention. What could they do to actually capture his attention, like to stand out from other women? Well, I think I already... Like def- initially, like where do they go? Like what, you know, where do you they You mean go? actual locations? Yeah. Well, like- we met online. So, I mean, I think that is something to consider. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of how you would meet successful people, mm-hmm. uh, I guess you would have to ask yourself what kind of person you're looking for. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, there are organizations like boards of trade or... Which I did join. Yeah. Yeah. Or, you could go to like a local country, yeah. a golf and country club. Yeah, there are certain... Five-star like, restaurants and Exactly, bars. yeah. If you went to go a five-star restaurant that has a lounge... Mm -hmm. right then you know that that's going to attract a certain type of clientele Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and even during covid like people are still doing all of that so yeah Mm -hmm. and what about um clothing that they can wear to attract a successful man well again for me i was looking for somebody who is a little more on the classy side so okay. i think that's more in your realm for you to discuss the details well, this of. is from a male's perspective though i want them to get it from your well view. what classy means to me is what we talked about earlier i know what it's not mm-hmm. it's not someone who's showing who's revealing a lot of her you know yeah like the short skirts and right. the tight clothes and the cleavage that you know every woman can show Mm -hmm. and like that sends to me that sends the wrong message Mm -hmm. Um, so the opposite of that okay somebody's put together yeah somebody who looks like they take care of themselves Mm -hmm. somebody who's fit i mean i'm on the slim side so i'm attracted to some to females who are on the slim side so Mm -hmm. you know i mean i'm you're not going to change your body type, but just consider that, right? Mm-hmm. If I, maybe if I was a big guy, then maybe I'd be attracted to someone who is physically bigger, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. I I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Everybody, but everybody's different, so. Right. Yeah, yeah everyone's different. Okay. But so. again, you want to be, as you said earlier, you want to be authentic. You want to be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then once they have him, or whatever, you know. Um, how do they keep him intrigued with 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 that? How how does she keep him intrigued with her rather than wanting to sort of continue seeing other women or you know all that? Because men like you have more, I'll just say it, more money, so therefore more options, and therefore the cheating rate is higher you know with men that have more options it's just how it works um it's part of the territory so um each person and each relationship is unique and different uh i think what i've learned from our relationship and from my experience in life generally it's to be clear on it's for me to be clear on my goals yeah and then for me to ask others what their goals are mm-hmm. so that's what I'd recommend is be communicative find out be clear as to what your desires and needs are and find out what um, your your mates um, desires and goals are and yeah. discuss them yeah. in detail uh-huh. like in detail right and determine whether or not you guys are simpatico or not, right? I mean, mm-hmm. I kind of like certain things, and if you're not into offering those kinds of things, uh, and vice versa, right? Mm-hmm. So I think communications, well, I'm not saying anything you don't know, but yeah, being upfront, I think when I look back at my unsuccessful uh, relationships in yeah. my life, that's something I did not do. I was okay. too young uh, to realize it or too shy to mm-hmm. bring it up or mm-hmm. right. insecure. I mean, well, all of those things. Right. And as I got a little bit wiser, realized that clear communication is critical to mm-hmm. having a successful relationship. Yeah. 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 Okay. 
So being clear as to what each other, what your needs are and mm -hmm. then Mm -hmm. and desires and goals and then being able to articulate them in a clear way mm -hmm. that's okay best suggestion okay with this kind of dating it's important to really just do you and to care less about what other people think and focus on what you want for your life and really just stay laser beam focused on that yeah, yes. clearly we are not here to please our friends, Family. our mothers. No. It's, we're here to achieve our own goals. And yeah. frankly, if we get on a path of trying to please everyone, we're never going to succeed. Because mm -hmm. it's not possible to do. And my opinion is that's not what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. here to be happy mm -hmm. and to share my happiness yeah. with people I care about. Yeah. And to me, it's that simple. Exactly. I'll see you guys in the next video. Comment down below on what stood out the most for you and give me a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much see for you watching. See you next time. Yeah, see you next time.